Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark. For Monday, March 30th. Good morning, Appleton North. I hope and trust that you had a great weekend. I know the weather didn't exactly cooperate with us, um, but I'm a firm believer in the old adage that with spring showers will bring us spring flowers. So let's hope that that turns around for us soon. Monday, the start of the week, and this week's a big week for us. Even though school has looked very different um, for all of us in the last couple of weeks, um, today technically is the start of the fourth quarter, and that's a very important time for us in our semester and in our school year. Um, it's also a big week because it's the last week before spring break, which is good news. And then finally, it's a big week for us because as you saw from the message from our superintendent, Dr. Baseman, this is the first week of us understanding that we're gonna be at this distance learning longer than we anticipated. As you know, the coronavirus, both in the state and the nation, um, has, has forced schools to stay closed um, for longer than we had anticipated. However, we are still here. We are still a school community. We are still learning. We are still doing education. It just looks different. So let's use this week. Let's use this week to get ourselves in a good position. Let's work hard. If you need help with anything, please reach out to anyone um, here at North. We would love to help you to get you in that good spot this week before heading into spring break. Now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today. Monday is a happy birthday to Erica, Emily, William, Anessa, Autumn, and Lindsay. We hope that you have a wonderful birthday, everyone. Hello, Appleton North. It's Nurse Kara here. I'm joining you from Hartman's Creek State Park. It's a beautiful park. I'm here with my husband when we're enjoying um, the nature trails here. And I, just an FYI, the state parks are free right now, so it'd be a great time for you to get out and take advantage of being part of um, these beautiful parks that are nearby. My spark today is really to encourage you to be a spark, um, to be a light in someone's life. There are a lot of needs out there right now, and I would encourage you to be thinking about how you can help someone else. For instance, maybe there's an, you have a grandparent or you have an elderly person in your life and they're right now probably more isolated than ever before and you could pick up your phone and actually call them. They would probably love to hear your voice. It could really mean the world to them. Or if you could do some baking or maybe go to the store and pick some baked goods up and drop them off at different neighbor's house or someone that you know could use a little bit of encouragement. You could drop a note in the mail or again, drop a note off at a neighbor's house, but thinking about who you can help during this difficult time. And maybe you're thinking that you're, you need help, that your family has lost some jobs, um, that you're going through a really hard time, please email me. I, there's a lot of people out there that would love to help possibly, I can't promise it, but can possibly help you. So please email me and let me know. We can't know what help you need unless you let let me know. And also my favorite book says it's more blessed to give than to receive. So I encourage you today to be a giver in someone else's life. Take care. This is Mr. Pennenberg and I approve this message.